This decision doesn't respect unity of the country and might throw the country into confusion and shake the unity of Nigeria. We have witnessed sharp divisions along religious lines ahead of 2023 general election. The current security situation and supremacy of a region is also affecting and shaking the unity bedrock of the nation. Political gladiators across the divide have taken up arms and fight via exchange of words on power rotation. Some want it to remain in the north, while others want it back to the south for equality's sake. Presidential election in Nigeria is highly influential and powerful, as we all confer greater sense of belonging to the Federation on any ethnic or geopolitical zone that produces the president. This, no doubt, has deepened the agitation for power shift by various regions, and with us, resolved to implore all major political parties to have a deep think ahead of national conventions, ensure that power rotates to the south, as this will ensure that the country remains united and sense of belonging is given to all zoning. The presidential ticket to the southern part of the country come 2023. While we know power is not given a la carte, we will deploy our structures across the country and within the various parties to further project the call and agitation to save the soul of Nigeria. Northern Nigeria has been in power since 2015, and after exhausting the constitutional rights eight years by 2023, it is expected that the power will rotate to the south. This is lawful and can guarantee peace and unity of the country, not on the contrary. Let it be known that there won't be either peace, there won't be either APC, PDP, or any political party if there is no country called Nigeria. National interest must override personal interest of those pushing the parties to jettison the conventional rotation agenda of presidency. We thus urge all political parties to follow what will retain the unity of the country and zone presidency to the southern states come 2023. Parties should stop playing politics with the people of Nigeria. The country is overwhelmed with myriads of problems, ranging from insecurity, banditry, terrorism, decayed infrastructure, etc. We must not compound the woes of the country once again. We hereby reiterate our call for the need of our political parties to shift power to the South for equity, justice, and the unity of the country. This will sustain our unity, ensure that the country remains one, with each region seeing ourselves as stakeholders in the Nigerian project. We must respect zoning, and now is the time for this to be done. Join us as we further agitate our campaign for power rotation to the south. I it's not just because we want power to return to the south because we are southerners. It is premised on the principles of equity, fairness, and justice. And the rotational arrangement is not just a wish of the incumbent political class, that is the FPC, PDP, or whatever, which they may choose to respect or not. It is the wishes of Nigerians who, of course, have struggled to make this democracy work. We should all know that what gave birth to the geopolitical zone structures that we have in this country today, which is enshrined in our federal character principle, is the need for equity and fairness in the country. So there should be no debate about where the next president of Nigeria is coming from if the political parties are going to be fair to the principles of our democracy.